Hey YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. It's Dr. Alessandro. Please like and subscribe. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about drinks that are protect particularly bad for your teeth. I'm not singling out any brand, but just general classes of drinks that can cause real harm to your teeth. Those would be your sodas or pops, whatever you particularly call them, your iced teas, whether they be diet or sweetened with sugar, your sports drinks, and yes, even your sparkling waters. You might That might be a surprise because, hey, water's supposed to be good for you, right? So all of these drinks are bad for your teeth primarily because they contain high acid content. So some of them contain sugar too, and we're going to take that aside as well. But all of these drinks before you contain high acid content of different types. And this is what's harmful to teeth because an acid attack on a tooth will basically melt away your enamel. So if you have bacteria that are causing cavities and then you're adding acid to it, you're destroying the enamel with the acid and the bacteria that are causing cavities are producing acid too and they just keep on working. And as a dual threat, they basically just go away and erode into your teeth and break them down. And so those are the reasons why these types of drinks can be particularly harmful uh, to your teeth. So we all know about the sodas and they have typically, if they're not diet, of course, a lot of sugar and the sugar powers the bacteria that cause cavities. And then the high acid melts your teeth. So double whammy on the sodas. You got your diet sodas. So diet sodas, slightly better than your soda. They still have a lot of the acid, the phosphoric acid, which is what regular sodas have but they don't have the sugar, so they can't quite power the bacteria that cause cavities, but they still have the acid that melts your teeth away. Now, your, your drinks like this, the Snapple iced teas and your citrus drinks contain something a little bit different. It's called citric acid. And let me see if I can show you on the ingredients label where it is. It is usually pretty high and there it is. Citric acid. So citric acid is bad for you because our body loves acidic things in general. Like we tend to prefer acidic foods and drinks. That's just how our bodies are made. That's how we're wired. But our bodies don't produce much saliva in response, if any at all that is, to the citric acid. So citric acid can kind of sit on our teeth unchecked for long periods of time and that's when the most harm is done, when your mouth stays acid for a long period of time, because acid will keep melting away at your teeth for hours and hours on end. Our bodies actually do respond a little bit to the phosphoric acid in sodas. They produce some saliva. So we tend to wash a little bit of the phosphoric acid away. So believe it or not, the citrus type drinks, which are the, the sweet teas, uh, any of your citrus drinks, like orange juice and things like that, and your sports drinks, those ones that contain citric acid are probably more damaging than sodas uh, because our bodies just don't respond to them. Now, they're more damaging if we use them the wrong way. Uh, and, of course, the same goes for your waters, your sparkling waters. Um, these can actually be a pH of 3.5 or 4, and that's particularly acidic. And so when that happens, now you've got a real problem. Uh, you know, you have an acidic product that you might sip away for long periods of time and not really know that you're causing harm to your teeth. So I did want to make you aware of that because that's really, really important. Um, the sneaky ones nowadays that I tend to find are the sports drinks. Now, if you are in a profession where you have to work in fields, say, so you're, you're busy, you're a laborer, and, and water might not cut it, you know, just simple water might not be enough hydration. It, might, it doesn't replace the electrolytes you, you use and lose when you are sweating and working. Um, you know, sports drinks are good when used the right way. But if you sip on them all day long, then you're basically exposing your teeth to acid and sugar all day long because many sports drinks contain sugar. They, they just want to keep you powered up and, and moving because, again, they're to replenish you while you're working hard, which is legitimate. So just want to make you aware, if you're going to use sports drinks or any of these drinks, try to rinse with water after you get the acid out of your mouth. 
if you, if you brush, that's even better. But try to get try to get that out of your mouth as quick as you can by rinsing with water, uh, by brushing your teeth, however you can do it. Because otherwise, you're going to have acid all over your teeth for long periods of time. And that's really what is damaging. It's melting your teeth and it's causing any kind of cavity activity that might be going on to really accelerate and just cause rapid destruction. And that's what we don't want. Now, there are some products out there, some water products out there, um, that are bottled waters that you might think, oh, they're bottled waters. They gotta be neutral, right? Wrong. Some of these products are actually acidic too. And that can be kind of dangerous. Like there's, for example, uh, Aquafina. Aquafina has a pH of 5.96. So that's somewhat acidic. There's Propel Fitness Water. Now you think, oh, fitness water, it's gonna be great. That has a pH of 3.37. That's really acidic. That's pretty bad for your teeth. And there's Fiji water. That's not as bad as the others. 6.65 is its pH. So it's below the pH of neutral, which is seven, but not by all that much. So it's a little acidic. So it's not as bad as the others. But again, you do make your mouth an acid environment uh, when you use it. And so that can be a real problem. Now, waters can also be basic. There are several products like Smart Water, which has a pH of almost seven. That's close to neutral and that's good. But there are also products like Evian, which is 7.53. That's a good water because it's basic, it's not acidic, and so you're not gonna melt your teeth away with acid. And finally, there's also an Essentia product. I've never actually heard of it before. Um, I've just seen it in literature. I've never seen it in stores yet. I'm sure I'll find it. Uh, and that pH is actually 9.5. That's a pretty basic. I mean, and, and I know our bodies may taste that when we use our taste buds, we might not like it. Our bodies, again, we're more wired to like the acidic stuff. So if you like Essentia, that's great, uh, but I'm not sure how many people do just because of its basic nature and just because of how our taste buds tend to sense it and, and how our brains then interpret and respond to it. So I do want to appreciate you again for joining me on this channel. Thank you so much for joining me. And I do want to actually give a special thank you to uh, Mr. Matt Torben, who is helping produce everything, working really, really hard, and uh, making this channel happen. Thank you, Matt. A uh, lifelong friend who has really done wonders for me over the course of, at this point, 34 years. So, Matt, thank you very much. You're awesome. And again, YouTubers, thank you for joining me, and hope you stay healthy and safe.